boy, day in and day out, I believe that I can catch fish as long as I can see the bottom. Because when it comes down to it, down on the bottom, contour lines, humps, rock piles, flats, that's what fish are attracted to because that's where they eat. And they're also migration routes. So it's so important to me to be able to see the bottom, not only in my sonar, but also in a map. When I see that stuff, day in and day out, I'm gonna be able to catch fish. But here's the thing. As much as I would love to go everywhere and always have a Lake Master quality map, it's just not possible. Because the guys at Lake Master, there's, there's no way that they could ever run all over the country and get all these maps done and keep up with everybody's lake. Because the truth is, we all want our lake done, right? Well, I want it wherever I go. But here's the thing, there's a brand new solution now and it's called Auto Chart Live. And it's available exclusive on your Onyx and your Ion units. Here's what it is, it's a free software upgrade. And you just go to hummingbird.com and you can download this software. And when you plug it into your unit, you now have eight hours of mapping. You can go do whatever you want for eight hours. Now when that eight hours is up, what you can do is you can delete the data and start over. So say you've just gone off to a different lake and you just wanna map a little area that you're gonna fish. Or the other thing you can do is you can buy a zero lines SD card. And what this allows me to do is map for, it's something like 29 years around the clock. It's an unbelievable amount of time. I will never be able to use it up in my lifetime. So I can map any lake I go to and I can save this stuff. So picture this, you're off on vacation and you're in a situation where you get there and there's no map of the lake for your GPS. Or you're up in Canada, you're on a small lake, you're on a farm pond, you're on a river that's changing throughout the years. You can map these things and have the most current and up-to-date information and you can save it right on this zero line card. Now here's the thing, there's no extra processing. Auto Chart Live on my Onyx unit is actually gonna draw me a map as I go out there and map the area. This is one of the coolest things because here's the thing, if I come out here today and I know I've got six hours to fish and I wanna fish a couple little rock piles and I can identify their general neighborhood, I can map them in literally minutes, come back and fish through them. So I don't have to go home and do any additional processing with the Auto Chart Live feature. Here's the other thing that's really, really neat. All those things you've come to love when it comes to the additional features that you had with your Lake Master maps, you can do with these auto chart maps as well. I've got follow the contour with my iPilot link. I've got water level offset. I've got shallow water highlight and I've got depth highlight. And here's what's really cool. This is all my own data. So when I go out and build this, I know I have something that nobody else has and that's gonna help me catch more fish than the guy fishing right over here because all said and done, I know more about the bottom and that's what I need to know. Here's how easy this is to make work. With my Onyx unit, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna to touch chart. And what you have to remember is that now we have a complete touch screen and that's really cool. Now you can do things over here as well, but I really love this touch screen because it puts everything right at my fingertips. All I gotta do is look right down here and here's Auto Chart Live. I'm gonna hit Auto Chart Live and then it's just gonna ask me if I'm ready to record. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that over to on and we're ready to go. Now you can see it's marked a little bit of an area that we're gonna start working in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get out of there and it's time to start mapping. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna drive back and forth and we're gonna create a grid pattern. And the idea behind doing this is when we go back and forth and, and, and then back and forth the other way, we are gonna create contour lines that are gonna show up right on this map. So let's get going here and see what we can't get built. You want to be a little bit careful. You know, we got an island right here. We don't got a ton of water right here, but we do have the kind of spot that's going to hold fish because you can see how that comes up right there. I guarantee you there's going to be fish along these edges. So let's get this thing mapped and get this figured out, and then we'll come right back and we'll fish it. Now, the tighter you drive, the more information you're going to have. So what you want to do is really pay close attention to these these lines that you're drawing because you want to make sure that you're staying tight together with your pattern because you're going to get the most data. And you can see where it comes up here and I'm already starting to draw in some contour lines. I think one of the neatest things too about this is how fast you can do this. I mean I'm already turning around headed back through here again and we'll just keep going back and forth and I'll work my way all the way over to that shoreline. And then we'll work our way back and forth the other direction and we will have a contour map drawn of this whole thing. And I got a feeling what we're gonna find out being there's this island over here is that this point runs all the way across. 
And if it does, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be one of them spots that holds all kinds of different species toward evening. One of the things that's really important while you're out doing this too is, you're gonna get mesmerized watching this screen. All of a sudden you're drawn a map that has the highest detail level possible. But what you need to remember is there's other people out here on the water. So keep your head up and make sure you're paying attention to what's in front of you while you're doing this. I think one of the neatest things about this program is the fact that I'm watching it draw it right on my screen. And as you're going through this and doing it, you realize what else really out there. And it's so hard to fathom sometimes when you just look across the lake. But boy, when you map it, start understanding why fish are where they're at and where you need to fish. And I'll tell you what, it, it just makes all the difference. And you look at this little area we're doing right here, this is gonna be able to tell me exactly how I should fish this thing tonight. Okay, we found pretty much everything that I wanted to find here, and boy, there's a lot of good stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my chart screen, I'm gonna go to Auto Chart Live again, and it's gonna give me my options here on where I, where I wanna save this data. So I can put it on internal if I'm only gonna, if I'm just using the eight hours, or I could put it on SD card one, which is what I'm gonna do with it here, because I'm gonna save this area on that zero lines card that I put in there. We'll hit save location. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to map options. And here you have a lot of different things you can do. You could change your contour lines. You could go to three foot if you want. Now I've got them set up one foot and that's exactly where I want them. We'll go back in here to map options. We'll turn off the record function. And then we're gonna say show map data. I'm gonna just get out of this screen and I'm gonna go here to my nav data. And I'm gonna to go to tracks. And then I'm gonna to go to what's called new track. And the reason I'm gonna do this is gonna give me the ability to clear the track, all the, all the grid lines I just made. So I'm gonna hit clear, that's done. So that's taken care of. Now all I gotta do is go back to my home screen and let's go back to the screen where we were just working. Let's go to this one right here. Well, that does it in about 20 minutes. I have mapped this whole area from this shelf that runs all the way across back into this bay. And there's a couple things that I know for sure. The shelf does come all the way across. It looks like it's a little broken up on that end. And there's areas all over in here that I wanna fish. But the other thing is, there's a little spot that I'm on top of right now that just looks dynamite as well. Never would have seen this on any of those state maps or those other things you buy. This is the only way to get the Lake Master quality stuff as far as I'm concerned, because all said and done, I've built the Lake Master quality map in 20 minutes and I know right where I wanna fish this area tonight. One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna show you. What this does is this color right here is exactly the area I've mapped. And you can see on this zero lines card, it's got the islands and the mainland and it shows exactly how these points come off and I can see everything I need to see here. Now what we'll do is I'm right there and I'm gonna be able to fish this whole thing. And I know up on top of that, that's about three feet deep. I'm gonna be able to cast cranks along that whole thing and catch fish. This whole program that you can get with these Onyx and Ion units with the Auto Chart Live is something that nobody else has and nobody could ever really dream of five years ago. Now you can know exactly where you're fishing and day in, day out, you can be fishing where the fish live and that's gonna to equate to catching more. Let's get some rods out catch some fish.